Okay, this is Dragon Hunter indeed. Welcome back to more World of Warcraft Bists of Pandaria patch 5.4. Now, the only thing I have left to show off in 5.4, at least I think the only thing I have to show off left, is the Siege of Ogamar Raid. And you know what? I thought, what would be the best way to show it off? What would be the most funny, the most derpy way possible? So, seeing as I want to gear up my Warlock, I will be going through LFR on the Warlock. Looking for Raid. Now, for those who don't know what LFR looking for Raid is, it's kind of like a dungeon finder, except it's for the Raids. Now, you queue up. I'm gonna kind of don't want to be leader. No. Not having that responsibility. So, yeah, yeah, queue for an LFR, you queue for a Raid, you get but with 24 random people. And then we go in and kill the easier versions of the bosses. At least easier than what they would be on normal mode. But in some cases, they are not easier at all. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm hoping to God I'm able to record this. Because, well, as the way this is going right now, the game's lagging quite a bit. And not to mention having like 25 people in a raid, that's going to be tricky. Let's have to turn down settings. Let's see, what can I do? Um, I guess I can put that down. Uh, not down. I might have a wee bit. But, yeah, now, Elfar's generally take quite a while to queue for. For example, this is, has an average wait time of 15 minutes. So I will be doing some daily stuff on the Timer's Isle, and I will cut back to when I finally get in the raid. So, yeah. Done with that. On transition later. <laughs> Okay, like 10, 20 minutes later, here's Q again. Let's hoping, let's, here's hoping I get in. <laughs> Why did that take so long to please say? I don't know. So yeah, I guess in between the stuff, I did a few more things on Thomas Isle. Guess I'll try and do Isle of Thunder stuff after this while waiting for the next Q. That is if I. I'm able to do the second LFR today. Pulls the power! Oh, yes, we are at the first... We are at the first boss. Yep, everyone's coming in. First boss right over there. There's a low walker Joe, what an adorable fat panda. And, yep, there is all of the enemies we have to fight to get him. Lovely! And talking fantastic. Now, can I quickly check something here? See you, Jogamar. There's only two wep there's only two staff weapons. Then the rest is one hand off hand for this stuff. Okay, so realistically I should probably use another seal on the Shah of Pride again. And trinkets. Trinkets, trinkets, trinkets. Lovely, lovely trinkets. Haste uh, thingy from Garrosh. Uh, cleave from Malkirk. Multi-strike from Charmin. And amplify, amplifies your stats by 6% for Mercius. So I reckon I'll use one on Charmin. Mercius. And black views. How many things do I? Oh, I only have three. So theoretically, I could easily just skip Shaw of Pride, but maybe I should do it for another 45 battle. Then I could get another upgrade for a piece of item. 
a piece of ice, a piece of armor. Sheesh, what is with me in language? It's not getting any better, even as the months go by. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, bad pet, okay. Right, I need a different pet up. Now we are at the boss. Lovely. On the healers offline. This can only go so well. <laughs> yeah. As long as nobody pulls him like an idiot, there's gonna be someone. And we should be fine. Yep, we're right at the back of him. And we should be good to go. Let's get some soul stones. And the buff up if everything. Might as well give a soul stone to myself. Now, logically you should probably give it to a tank, but... Well... Oh, someone that dies, but... This is how far I would like to live. <laughs> yeah. Look at him, so... watery. It's kinda creepy. Yeah. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Why is turned to stone in my head all of a sudden? I don't know. Dragon does not know. Dragon has been bored shitless waiting for the LFR queue to go. And has been listening to many songs. I just started talking in third person. A lot more thanks to watching <laughs> Miss A. Yeah, well I can't exactly blame her for it. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Swirly. Swirly. Stop swirly. Get swirly. Come on, please be down soon. Hopefully the tanks won't die. Oh crap, someone has died from this. Well, this is going to go well. I can see it now. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, get those ones. Get those ones. Yes. Oh, there's a crap ton over there, though. Use a soul stone. Well, health stone. And he's respawned. Reformed. 
And he's attacking people in front. Uh -oh. Well. Okay, okay. Hopefully that wasn't heard on the mic. Now it's back from a job and stuff. Lovely. Right. Uh, let's start. Use you on. Let's use that on you again. And yeah. Now between the Shaw Fear, Shaw Pride fight, and this one, I did take a look on what I'm supposed to do for Warlock, the cooldowns, rotations. I'm getting some idea of what to do. What I do need to know is a just a weapon upgrade. <laughs> That'd be nice. But I doubt that's gonna happen anytime soon. Sadly. Uh oh, that one, come on, get that one. Yeah, we go. There's tough. Two there, come on. Come on. There we go. And you should be reforming. There you are. Yeah. Nearly half health. Okie dokie. There we go. Is my demon still alive? Yes, it is. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. I forgot, I should probably tell someone about the WoW videos. I'm sorry, they're getting into World of Warcraft. Well, he started playing a little bit. Okay, you should be down after this, please. Down, please. That was a bit of lag right there, right. Uh, there's crap turn over there. Lovely. Let's put that there. Okay, they were down pretty quickly. And now to get these ones. Use another health stone. You're back up. Use you. Use you. Now, the main thing I want to get here is weapons and trinkets, but if any of the items drop, but I don't already have Warforged stuff up, then. Well, that's a huge bonus to this uh, LFR. Let's see, stuff I would like. Um, uh, back piece would be lovely. Chest would be lovely. Wrists. Hands. Boots. And then trinkets and weapon. I'm just saying what I need. <laughs> Even that I could try and do more Thomas Isle rares in order to get more burns opportunity. Which, uh, it's doable, but it's just boring and it's frustrating when you're so close to attacking a rare to get the tag and then it's dead and you don't get the kill and loot. It's annoying. I'll say that. Right, so Mercy split again. I really should have explained his tactics. Or even his lore. I can do that now, why not? The ancient inhabitants of Pandaria recognized the vital importance of the life-giving pools of power. Building an underground system of uh, aqueducts to safeguard the waters and nurture life within the fields of eternal blossom. Oh, what, what did I get? Oh, I got the trinket! Nice! And with that, I just got a five-item level upgrade. Ah, uh, thank you, Ghost Iron Dragonling, you are nice. Okay. The ancient inhabitants of Pataria recognize the valid points of life-giving pools of power, building an underground system of archaeologists to safeguard the waters and nurture that life into the of dental blossoms. The touch of corruption has animated and twisted these waters, and Mercia stands as an unnatural embodiment of the Vale Sorrow. So yeah, he has a ton of corruption, you get his HP to zero, he splits into these good ads, these bad ads. Heal the good ads, you can kill the bad ads. And when his corruption is at zero, end of fight. Yep. Now I might as well have this cutscene playing, why not? It's just really a zoom in to what's happening. Don't meet the mic and have a drink while it's happening. Yeah. 
Yeah, they got kind of uh, screwed. No, no, no. And lotus, but they pledged their and lives to defend this place. Uh oh, there's a lot happening up there. I guess I might as well explain the next boss while I'm here. The Golden Lotus and Shadow Pan, guardians of the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, were caught in the epicenter of the devastating blast that scarred the Veil and torn apart by dark energies. The spirits linger in the place they once protected, confused and tormented by their failure. So yeah, some of the Pandaran protectors here died and the Shard made them have dark emotions stuck here and we have to kill them in order to save their souls yeah kinda sad oh and uh gonna pull them now let's see what oh yeah mercy has dropped hood cloak trinket i got a trinket very nice they drop shoulders I got shoulders chest i would like a chest upgrade Feet upgrade and well, I really don't need ring. Uh oh, someone's already died. Two people have already died. Well, this hmm. how much I can say, really. Actually, there is something I can say. Looking for raid. Gotta love it. And who are they? Okay, they're attacking Rook, so I might as well attack the others. Yeah, when you... Oh, how to say this. They each have... How do I say this? Let's see, there's three pandas you have to fight. When each one gets to 66% health and then 33% health, they do this kind of thing. So, Rook summons these ads you have to try and kill. Uh, soon makes a bubble of stuff that you have to go in and kill the ads while stuff's happening on the outside. And he summons a ad which you have to kill, which which thingies which aggro is on one person and you have to click a button on another person in order to send that ad to that person before they kill you with the stacks of whatever they put on you. So yeah. Now I'm hoping to god they don't try and just do crook down. Because when they reach 0% health they do a thing which... They do a thing. They do a move which if the other guys aren't dead then... Well it pretty much brings them back up to like a third the health on normal mode at least. Oh heroic mode. It's not that bad on looking for aid but as you can tell by this I think we're going to have a wipe. Yeah. Right. Now I should be attacking these guys since I'm arranged. And why is... Oh, there we go, he's rest now. I should probably put one on the tanks, just in case. Yeah. Okay, that one's down. So now they just have to get E down. I hope they're attacking E. For the love of God, I hope they're attacking E. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mark of Anguish, the Adlat that goes on people. Now I think the tank's just gonna try and keep it for the rest of it. Chances are that's what happens. Which is kind of sucky, I will admit. Oh yeah. Okay, Anguish should be going down very soon. Looks like he's doing a bit of damage to one of the tanks, so one of the DPS though. I see, he's that good on that guy. Okie dokie. Oh, we're in away from that. Right, so with this, they should be attacking Rook next. In that case, I'll attack someone else. Yeah, just 
to try and get the other people's health down. Maybe I should just help them attack it. Yeah, I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. There we go. Attack Gloom. Gloom Gloom. And evolve into Embodied Blossom. Embodied Vital Gloom. Why am I bringing Pokemon into this? I see it. No, mistake, mistake, same old place. There, there we go. Oh, come on, tank again? Well, that's interesting. Except, no, not really, it's really shit. Why have I decided to do Alpha again? Why have I decided to record it? That's some questions I would really like. Yeah, I thought so. You died because you ran out and you didn't get the others to absorb it. <laughs> uh, I should just let him go. Let it go. Let it go. How great I'm singing Frozen songs when I haven't even watched it yet. Right. Oh, he and Sun are going to activate at the same time. Ah, well. I forgot what I was <laughs> yeah, they should probably get he down. Oh, crap, looks like they will. Don't do it while this is up. That'd be a bad decision. And bad decisions have been made. Oh, God. So now they have that, oh while wow. this stuff is happening. And nobody's attacking the embodied anguish. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just him down, then it's just getting everyone to zero help. Lovely. And Tank has died again. Can someone please attack the embodied anguish? And the only one is killing it. Oh great, now we have no tanks. No! Oh, they've got one tank up. Come on. Help me get the anguish down, people. There we go. So that's just to get everyone down to zero health at the same time. This is going to end catastrophically. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just going to focus on here. Get out of there. <laughs> that move is bad. Oh, finally someone's using Bloodless. Oh wait, that's been activated like 20, 30 seconds ago and I've just realised now. Lovely. Beware. Hang on, do I have... Did I seriously have Burning Rush on this entire fight? Well, that's... Might explain a bit. Oh shit. I should have some faith in the healers. Some here faith. Uh, any of the attacks are now. Both tanks are dead. Get he down! There we go. Sigil of wisdom and gold. This is stressful! 
Oh, <laughs> uh, yes it is. Me, yes it is. Oh yeah, I should probably need to reforge now that I have a new trinket. Okay, just a better crit for mastery. Really? I expected more since I was losing a lot of hit and expertise. Ah, well. Okie dokie then. Hmm. If I can't get a trinket in Siege of Ogmon, then I could get the 535 trinket. There's a Ford. Farewell, friend of the Grimmels. Okie dokie. Um, that tank can ride, surely. I'm afraid to look in Ray Chat. Hmm. I'll look at it all after the raid is done. That might be the best solution. I want to use that again. And I don't have any food to use, do I, new? No. Okie dokie. So yeah, that was the protectors done. I got nothing from them. So... Yeah, the next people we have to face... or well, next boss we have to face is No Shen. Some say that the Mogu race was created in the image of this titanic construct left deep within Pandaria to watch over and guard the continent's darkest and most dangerous secret. When the fight begins, No Shen seals all players inside a quarantine zone and extracts all of the po extracts a portion of each person each player's corruption to form an amalgamation of corruption. The object of the encounter is to destroy this creature. The players must reduce their personal level of corruption in order to Inflict full damage to the amalgam. Players can accomplish this by interacting with the nodes of purified light that are activated around the room, which will pull them into a another phase where they must face a world pacific challenge. Overcoming this challenge will purify the player and allow them to inflict full damage to the amalgam. So yeah. You have to fight this guy, you have to do like a personal challenge. And when that is done, you can Basically, do a crap ton more damage. Or you can heal for more, or you can tank for... Or you can tank better. I have no idea what it does for tanks. Maybe it makes them hit more, hit less. How better accuracy, I... truly don't know. Let's see, from him I could really use hands. I could really use a wrist. I have a neck piece, and I have shoulders. So, yeah. Hands or wrist from... That guy would be fan Tabby Dozy. <laughs> yeah. Right. So they should be down soon. The tanks are gonna die again. Let's just keep using soul stones on the tanks. They'd probably be better. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's them down, now we just have that thing to go. And no doubt they're going to pull one of these by accident. Or on purpose if one of the people are being a troll. It's possible. I've seen it happen before. Zeal. Now we've left Vanity... Yeah, we've left Vanity alive, so... He's going to be doing a certain move. Also Arrogance. So yeah, arrogance and zeal. Well, there's zeal. There's vanity up there. No idea where arrogance is. He might be... Where is he? Ah, uh, no. He's somewhere around here. Yeah, people would rather just skip through all the ads, skip through getting the things done to help kill this thing easier. Just skip to this guy, get through there, and get to the boat boss. It's kinda sad. 
They're doing what the designers not wanted them to do. Or maybe it was intentional. Maybe it was like, there's more than one way to defeat this guy. You could kill all the people, make it easier. Or you could do it for a challenge, or save time. They didn't make it hard enough. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie. So, yeah, we should be right at Notion's place. How the did he get ahead of us? Titans. Must have been hidden away long before recorded history, and with good reason. In the chamber ahead, under our peaceful land, slept the heart of an old god. Yes, yeah, someone did sleep there. Oh my, what is this? Hello. It speaks! I am Law Walker Cho. <laughs> No yeah, we can make again for this. Will enter the heart chamber. Further corruption? Oh no, we are here to stop the corruption and save Pandaria. You wish to purge the corruption? Yes, please let us pass. Should you pass this door at this time, you would fail. All of you are corrupted with the insidious plague known as pride. You stand tall and proud atop your accomplishments, and this will be your downfall. Should you wish to defeat the corruption, you will first need to purify the corruption within yourselves. Speak to me again when you are prepared to face your inner demons. So yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to pass a trial by him in order to get to the fourth boss, which I've already fought. <laughs> yeah.